We're here in Central California with UC Davis looking at the day neutral varieties that are just about to be launched from UC Davis. We've got three varieties here, Royal Royce, Moxie and UCD Valiant. Um, let me introduce you to Professor Steve Knapp and Glenn Cole from the breeding faculty here at UC Davis. Glenn, would you like to give us a bit of an introduction on Moxie as a variety? Sure. Um, Moxie is uh, um, we have the three varieties here have three kind of uh, um, target uh, markets uh, that we're looking at. This is a, a, a later yielding variety um, and uh, it also uh, all three of the varieties here are yielding uh, in our growing environment here in our trials um, uh, two plus kilos per plant um, to, through our testing system which is normally from March through September data collections um, and they uh, are very good fruit quality uh, um, characteristics, very firm fruit and uh, can handle uh, you know, storage conditions very well. Um, you can see the fruit, it's uh, quite nice uh, uh, shape and color. Um, and, uh, but Moxie um, also has fusarium resistance, it's uh, something that our growers um, are having to contend with more and more, especially in some of our southern growing regions in particular. And uh, so Moxie has uh, uh, fusarium resistance and it also is fairly moderately resistant to Phytophthora. Um, so that's some of the key characteristics for Moxie. Great. What about Valiant, Steve? Yeah, Valiant was uh, a cultivar that was in the middle with these two when we were first looking at it. But the thing that stood out for us was how, it, how well it did in lower input or organic production. So we, uh, we stuck with it through that. We noticed that it just seemed to really thrive and perform well under that lower input. I think, uh, I know we're going to get to both these, but one other characteristic I think of, of, of Royal Royce and Moxie and Valiant is, Glenn mentioned shelf life. We took shelf life tests out to 21 days and they really held up well through 14, so that was really impressive to us. It's incredible. And then also the um, runnering on Moxie and Royal Royce is greatly reduced in the fruit production fields. And it was a, a key uh, feature that Glenn observed really early on about bees and that we uh, that caused us to really flag them. And, and so that, that has a huge uh, economic impact for producers not having to trim runners. Especially, as much, as especially much. in, in uh, relationship to the main variety, you see variety that's grown in the region um, is Monterey. We're standing in a, in a, a plot of it right here. And Monterey tends to put out a lot of runners during the very growing season. It's a significant cost for the uh, growers um, to uh, trim the runners and, and put, put the plants energy into the fruit production. So, uh, especially the Royal Royce and the Moxie, um, significant reduction of near, nearly zero talk a little bit about Royal Royce? Sure. Royal Royce, uh, and again the name is in, in um, honor of uh, uh, one of the original breeders from the UC program, Royal Royce Bringhorst. And uh, Royal Royce uh, had, with our all of our first year data, was our, uh, the highest yielding variety across all the uh, markets, the growing regions where we uh, test. Um, in the day neutral markets, both here in the Santa Maria Valley and then north near Watsonville. Um, it really stood out. I mean, you could just see it in the plots and it, it just was a standout. Yeah. It eats wonderfully. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's my, fav my really personal good. favorite. I like all of them, but yeah. that's it, my this, personal this favorite. Yeah. Well. So as Global Plant Genetics, we're really excited by the program and the developments that are happening. As international master license holders, then we're looking forward to trialing these and rolling them out internationally. We've got very exciting times ahead. Thanks very much, guys. I really you. appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks.